you know over the years i've read the scripture over and over again and i thought it was a a physical blindness but while i read it recently my eyes were opened and i saw that this may not be a physical blindness this morning we are looking at um a story an event from first king, second kings chapter six you know the background story is that the king of syria you know um began to you know make plans to um to go to war with israel against israel and of course to take her maybe as captives and begin to you know receive tribute from her but the scripture records that the king of syria would make plans in his chamber would, would make plans in his in his own abode and say we are going to camp in so and so place we are going to position ourselves in this place so that when the army of israel is coming we will take them unawares but the scripture will say that elisha will send a message to the king of israel and say do not go through this place so i believe it happened over and again and then the king of syria began to think that there the, there was a spy there was someone who was affiliated with the king of israel there was someone in his cabinet that that was selling him out to the king of israel and he began to question his his people and one of them one of them told him no there is no one every one of us we are with you we are for you 100 percent but there is an ear in israel there is an ear elisha the prophet he 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 can pick what you are saying in your chamber and and he relates same to the king of israel that is the reason that you've not been able to succeed and then the king said where is this man let me go and capture him and i'm wondering is that no foolishness they just told you that that this man hears what what you discuss and he relates same to the king of israel and you are saying let me let, where is he? let me go and capture him that is to me it's foolishness but sometimes when you are when you are when when a man is consumed with evil he 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 sees this to reason accurately but that's not the issue for discussion this morning so he he sends a group of soldiers because they told him this man is in dotan so he sends a group of soldiers to go and arrest him to go and capture him and you know whatever and bring him down to to syria and they went and in the morning the servant of the prophets of Eli and uh, prophet elisha woke up and looked and saw the chariots of the syrians surrounding their camp and he was afraid and he said in verse that's the first verse we'll be reading verse 15 he said and when the servant of the man of god arose early and went out there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots and his servant said, said to him alas my master what shall we do and the scripture said that he was filled with fear he was filled with fear then verse 17 says and elisha prayed elisha told him do not be afraid and then he prayed lord i pray open his eyes that he may see now this is the first case of deceptive blindness so what we see in the case of Eli um, elisha's servant was that he couldn't descend accurately even though his eyes were open physically but yet he was blind from the prayer of, of elisha because elisha prayed lord open his eyes that he may see open his eyes that he may see so he was seeing uh he was he was not seen accurately and as a result of that lack of accuracy in vision his judgment was poor his judgment was wrong and fear filled his heart and that is that is the the situation with a lot of persons we don't see accurately and therefore our judgments are wrong so the, the, the scripture says then the lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around elisha 
so there is something you will see about your life there is something you, you will see about your family there was something there, there's something you will see in the realm of the spirit concerning you there is a revelation you will get concerning your career and you will walk as though you are the the, the um the highest being or the highest person in that in that office because of a revelation because of an insight so life is all about seeing accurately life is all about seeing accurately fear is as a result of what you don't know or what you know for in the case of the servant of elisha it was the fear was as a result of what he knew and what he did not know so he knew about the um, 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 the, the syrian soldiers but he did not know about the the angelic soldiers that were guarding elisha as a result of that he, he was filled with fear he was filled with fear until his eyes were opened if you are afraid it's as a result of where your eyes are, are, are it's as a result of the sight the kind of sight you have but we proceed and the scripture says that elisha made a prayer another prayer <laughs> for one person he said lord open his eyes for the other group of people he said lord blind their eyes so verse 19 says okay verse 18 says so when the syrians came down to him Elisha prayed to the Lord and said, Strike these people, I pray, with blindness. And he struck them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Now Elisha said to them, This is not the way, nor is this the city. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom you seek. But he led them to Samaria. So it was when they had come to Samaria that Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of this man that they may see and the lord opened their eyes and they saw and there were and there they were inside samaria you know over the years i've read the scripture over and over again and i thought it was a a physical blindness but while i read it recently my eyes were opened and i saw that this may not be a physical blindness this is most likely not to be a physical blindness because I'm, I, I put myself in the in the scene, and I, if I'm an, if I'm a Syrian soldier, and then Elisha prays, Lord, strike them with blindness, and I get physically blind, and then I hear a voice telling me, this is not the, the, the city. Come, let let me guide you. I will not follow. Number one is that even if it is not the city, and I'm, I am blind, and you are taking me to the city what am i going to do is it with my blindness that i'm going to see and arrest who I, who, I, who I want to arrest so most likely they were not physically blind they were still seeing but what they lost was the ability to recognize was their ability to discern where they were what was happening who was with them so they lost the ability to recognize or to judge or to discern accurately that was the blindness so what elisha did was that he took the blindness that was upon his servant and put upon these people because he would have said oh so if this man if my, my servant can you know can have a type of this kind of blindness ah let me put it on on these people so that they will be deceived so what he what those soldiers lost was the ability to descend so they couldn't recognize where they were they couldn't recognize who they were with so when elisha told them this, this is not the city they agreed let me lead you and they did not recognize samaria they did not recognize where they were heading until elijah prayed lord open their eyes and then that that um deception was lifted and they now recognized where they were So, we are going to, this is just the um, explanation. So, most likely we are going to pray this prayer today and tomorrow. Because there are a lot of prayers that we need to pray on this. Because in life, when you are not able to discern accurately, it would, it would impact negatively on your journey. So, for these men, they lost their sense of direction. They lost their sense of purpose and they would have lost their life if not for Prophet Elisha that said, no, leave them. He did not capture them. Let them just go back and, and all of that. And they went back to their, to their nation. 
So deceptive blindness is it's it it is it, a kind of blindness that you would have and you will not know that you are blind. So that is why I call it deceptive blindness because you will think that you have sight, you will think that you are seen accurately, meanwhile, you are blind. And the worst kind of thing that can happen to a man is to be in a position and not know that you are in that position. You are blind. You don't know that you are blind. So you won't even seek for, for, for help. You are poor. You don't know that you are poor. You won't seek for help. You don't have the wisdom for a situation and you don't know that you don't have the wisdom for that situation. You will not seek for help. It is only them that know. That's why James will pray. Uh, let him that lacks wisdom. You must recognize that you don't have wisdom for you to be able to seek for wisdom. So if you don't know that you don't have wisdom, you will be satisfied with where you are, with what you have, not knowing that you are you are foolish in your ways. So we are going to take a couple of prayers for this morning and then tomorrow we, we continue by the grace of God. Oh, Shakada Baravia Sisefenetana Kada Varadi Shata Lesute Kabaravia Shaka de Fesun de Kabaravia Talioto Frahagadea. The first prayer we are going to take is we are going to because this um, deceptive blindness can come in the area of you not being able to recognize distractions and time wasters. So we are going to be praying that our eyes will be opened to distractions and time wasters there was a prophet you know he, he came to prophesy to the king of, of of israel yes and he gave him a story as the prophecy you know he injured himself he had someone in, um, hit him and injured him and he said i was at war and then someone handed a a captured person to me and say keep this man and guard him let him not escape if he escapes you will pay with your life or you pay some amount of money and the man said while i was busy here and there so the man was distracted say while i was busy here and there the man was gone so there are things you lose by 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 being distracted so the first prayer we're going to be praying is that we are going to be praying against distractions and saying lord open my eyes you may not recognize some distractions in your life currently you may not recognize some time wasters in your life currently and if you don't recognize them they will continue to suck your life away they will continue to 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 to, to lead you to the place where you lose you lose your destiny you lose what god has committed into your hands you lose what you have been called for and you lose everything part your life because you are distracted the man said while i was busy here and there he said he was gone can you say lord open my eyes may i not be blind to distractions and time wasters lord open my eyes to see accurately in the name of jesus open my eyes to see accurately may i not be blind to time wasters may i not be blind to deceptions in the name of chill may i not be blind to distractions sometimes the distractions may masquerade as good things so you are wondering what is wrong with this thing but when the lord opens your eyes and see and you look accurately and you see accurately you will see that this has been a major distraction can you say lord may i not be blind to distractions may i not be blind to time wasters may i not be blind in the name of jesus open my eyes to see accurately to recognize the things that have been distractions to my soul the things that have been distractions to my heart to see the things that have been time wasters that have been hampering my progress that the blindness may be lifted that i may see accurately oh jesus 
Ametene kada vio se vele tene ke velo si ve Retene ka velo si e vela ga de lo shada la para vie Reso neke de velo sa ina manda sham do refele ta O shana na ka de su de gede le gede gede le gede na mama na sham do la vete Zene tene ne de de shada da da ta Retele kada ve se zuse ha Retele shata and the God of the Zabarava, Reteleketeli Sodomanati, Hayasha Nataya Kadia. Lord, may I not be blind to distractions. May I not be blind to time wasters. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes to recognize. Retelekada via Sieta, Mama Sivenetene no Shadadata, Reteleketo Zaina Mana, Resovene Kevando Siveneta, Mabasham do Refeletoza. Gatu zefeneta Esha na da gada balata Raga da 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 ta Meza da 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 ta Raga da 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 ta Masa na da 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 ta Lazi ete kada bada balata Rete ne ta na gasu zefela da barava na ta Leso da bela barada sham do rafia siya ta in the name of Jesus, we have prayed. The next, the next prayer point is very important. The, the, the next type of deceptive blindness we are looking at is not being able to recognize wrong relationships, wrong associations, wrong relationships, wrong associations. There was a time it, uh, uh, the king of Judah, King Jehos um, Shaphat, he began to uh, maybe he began to seek to restore the lost re relationship between judah and israel because the time came and judah and israel they were broken they had judah had his king um israel had it, had its king from the time of um Rehoboam. Rehoboam. so when king jehoshaphat came on board he began to foster the relationship and it was king ahab that was the king of israel at that point when he thought, ah, let me restore the, the lost relationship. Let me restore the lost association between Israel and Judah. He began to have relationship with King Ahab. And as a result of that relationship, I believe that was what resulted to the marriage of um, the, the, the daughter of Jezebel to his son. So the son of King Jehoshaphat married Atalia the daughter of Jezebel and that was how the spirit of Jezebel was transported from Israel to Judah and when that son came, came into power he was he, he began to, to misbehave he did wrong and the scripture was clear enough he said because he got married to the daughter of Ahab so Atalia was you know <laughs> The spirit of Jezebel seeks authority figures, seeks where there is power, seeks where there is influence, and you know, seeks to, to invade that place and rule. So when this guy married Atalia, he was importing the spirit of Jezebel from Israel. Remember, it was as a result of Ahab's marriage to Jezebel that the, the worship of Baal was propagated in Israel. And the same thing began to happen in, in, in Judah as a result of this union. So all of that happened and down the line we'll see the catastrophe that came upon Judah just because Jehoshaphat had an, a wrong association. Just because a man associated wrongly. So wrong associations can, 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 can stop your progress for years can hamper your movement for years and can even snuff at your life wrong association can you say lord open my eyes to be able to recognize wrong relationships long wrong associations in the name of jesus may i not be blind to wrong relationships open my eyes up a father they are people that you associate with and then you find out that you are just dying you don't know what is killing you but you are just dying things are you are losing things things are just going amiss by by just entering a a, a, a union with somebody can you say lord <laughs> 
Receive no Open my eyes, O oh Lord, that I may recognize wrong relationship. Let me descend accurately. Let me descend men accurately. Let me, let me know what each man stands for, and let me let me let me at that distance or join. May I not be blind, O oh God, in this aspect. May I not be blind, O oh God, in this aspect. O parade so fena kapara vietash. Zanana kapara vietso se ne kete liana para vieta kadash. Rete kete nusa na kapara vietso se te kete nusa vada para vietash. Rete kete kete kusa na da 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 mama pa 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 pa. Give me a distinct spirit. Asino te kapara dia saito ko para vete pai. Resu na kapala dia su da kita pai. Apostle Paul had that distinct spirit and he was able to say ah this lady is not meant to associate with us we are not meant to have the relationship with this lady because there is a that the, the, she is operating under the spirit of divination we will know we will cut off this association and he cut her off I had a barakadi of anatia. Had Apostle Paul not cut off that relationship, it would have been a wreck to the work he was doing. It would have been a major wreck to what he was building. Masote fella kapara viata. You may be building your life, and a wrong association will just bring down what you have built for years. What I have built for years. Can you say, Lord, open my eyes? Sanante kapara vie todo regadia shadada reto se via tani wasi venete ne kapara vie to zai inde te teira rete ne no sa veleta gabara to shanata to wrong relationships rete de don se ziva na vendo sa vanata to wrong associations. It's not about the physical appearance of men. It's about what they carry in the realm of the spirit, what they represent in the realm of the spirit. It's about the atmosphere around them. It's about the energy around them. It's about who they are in the realm of the spirit. It's about what they represent. It's about what they are there for. Because there are some men that their words are smooth as butter, but in their hearts they are drawn swords waiting to slay you. Can you say, Lord, open my eyes? May I not judge wrongly relationships? May I judge accurately? May I see? May I recognize wrong relationships, wrong associations? And may I have the strength to cut off? Shana Baraki Varato Zeze Tenetene Cabaravia Shata Cabaravia Siata Shando Sivala Cada Barato Severia Dolivra Hadishanda Cabaravio Soso Tevenetana.